Hello, my lovely listeners. Welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Are you ready to listen to Little Apple Goat? Down on the farm, there lived a little goat. She was quite an ordinary goat. Ordinary in every way. Every way, that is, except one. She had most unusual eating habits. While most goats are happy to chew on last week's leftovers or Wednesday's washing, little apple goat preferred apples. She also loved cherries and pears. Every autumn, little apple goat spent happy days in the orchard, waiting for a crunchy apple, a juicy pear, or a ripe cherry to fall. When evening came, little apple goat trotted home to her meadow. And on the way, she sent a shower of pips and stones over the hedge. Pippity plip! Day after day, year after year, little apple goat's pips and stones landed in the top field next to the hedge. On one particular autumn day, a breeze began to blow. The breezy afternoon became a blustery evening, and the blustery evening blew into a stormy night. The animals were very scared indeed. They huddled close together inside the barn while the wind howled all night long. In the morning, little apple goat rushed straight to the orchard. The storm had toppled every single tree. The orchard that little apple goat loved so much was gone. All the animals were very sad when the farmer came to take the logs away. The farm just won't be the same again without the orchard, they said. As autumn turned to winter, little apple goat watched smoke curl from the farmhouse chimney. At least the logs will keep the farmer warm, she thought. At last spring came. One day, as little apple goat trotted home to her meadow, she noticed some young trees in the top field. They were covered in blossom. By the autumn, the trees had grown bigger, and the first fruits hung from their branches. The farm had an orchard again. Hooray! said the animals. But who could have planted it? They wondered. Who indeed? Plippity plip, plippity plip. The end. Thank you for listening, children.